Hello everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I have a great idea where I will be working with 6x6 paper pads to create mini slimline cards. This is a great way to use up all that paper that you have been hoarding. And if you just fold in half any 6x6 paper, then you will end up with a mini slimline card. And I'm going to show you many ideas on how you can play with pattern papers that have designs that are quite subtle, others that are uh, monochromatic, and even very busy ones. So all you have to do is to just grab a 6x6 paper from your pad, fold it in half, so I'm just scoring at 3 inches, and then I'm going to give it a good fold with my bone folder. Depending on the paper pad that you use, you may end up having a blank inside. In my case, I do have some color inside, but this is not a problem. I will show you how easy it is to fix that. Now, the good thing about using Altenew paper pads is that they are 80 pounds, so it is nice and sturdy, just like the light cardstock, and it makes a great card base. So you see, I have a card base ready to go. It does have interest on the background. And all you have to do is to just stick a focal point and a sentiment. So for this card I decided to go with the TV. This is from a new stamp set by Alta New, which is called Vintage Vibes. It's a layering stamp set that helps you create a TV as well as rolling skates, which I'm going to use for the next card as an example. Now the trick here to bring everything together, the focal point and the pattern paper, is to use colors that you pick from the pattern paper for your focal point. So here for my TV set I'm going to only use colors such as browns and greys. And you can see here I did swatch some of my ink pads just to try and find the perfect match for the pattern paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the next layers. This technique works with any focal point that you decide to stick on top of a pattern paper. It's going to make this focal point look as if it is part of the same collection. So here I'm using grey, again I did swatch them to try and match that grey with the grey on the background paper as much as I could. And you can just stick this TV set along with a sentiment on top of your card base. I'm going to just take it a step further and create a shaker card out of it just because I think it's going to look so cute. I did use the dies to cut it out as well as to cut out the opening at the center. I do add some uh, double sided tape at the back so that I can stick the acetate. And now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back, which is going to ensure that all my shaker elements are going to stay in place. As a background for my TV set, I did use a piece of uh, pattern paper from the same paper pad. I'm also going to just stamp the sentiment directly on my card base and I went with the one that says you are not old, you are vintage. I think this is a very fun card and it would work as a masculine card as well. I'm going to stick my vintage TV set on top. And on the inside you can just stick a panel of white cardstock so you have a place to write your message. The fun part about using a pattern paper as your card base is that you end up having a design at the front, at the back, as well as on the inside. It provides a great way to use up those pattern papers that you are hoarding. Just go through your stamp collection, pick up a focal point and use colors from the pattern paper for your focal point. Here is another example, this time I'm going to combine two pattern papers from the pad. The one with the grey and white stripes I'm going to fold it in half, which is going to make my card base. Again, this is a double sided paper, which means that on the inside I do have some color. Again, I'm going to stick a panel on the inside where I can write my message. From that pink pattern paper now, I'm going to just cut it in half. This is going to create two panels that I can use on mini slimline cards. And I'm going to trim one of them slightly smaller so that I can end up having that uh, white and grey design showing at the bottom. So again here I'm using the same tips and techniques as I did for the first card where I am picking colors from the background for my focal point. For the focal point again I went with the same stamp set and I'm using the skate. I'm going to stamp it a couple of times. And I'm staying quite plain here since I like to have a clean and simple style for this card, just like the pattern papers that I used. That's why the only color that I used for the skates is pink, which I tried to match with the pink of my background, and uh, I just used it on the wheels. 
Just for a touch of sparkle and to make this card look more elegant, I did use a very thin strip of um, golden cardstock at the very bottom of the pink panel. I'm sticking this panel with foam tape on top of my card base and then I'm going to stick the rollers now for uh, the one of them I'm going with glue so that it's going to lay flat completely on my card base and then for the other one I'm using foam tape to introduce some dimension. That golden strip at the bottom of my pink panel also works as a kind of a ground as a sentiment I went with just roll with it I just stamp that with black and cut it out with a circle die and I finished off the design by sticking some enamel stars to make an otherwise simple card look more special. In both of those cards, the background was quite subtle or monochromatic, so it was easy to use a focal point at the front. But that technique doesn't work with very busy backgrounds because they are not going to help your focal point pop when you stick it on top of it. So I went through my stash and found this paper pad. This is again a 6x6 by Altenew from an older collection. And these papers are super busy. So I'm going to show you three examples on how you can use those. For the first example of using super busy pattern papers, I went with this gorgeous one. I'm just again scoring it in half at 3 inches. And again you get a bonus lovely design on the inside. Of course again you can use a white panel to write your message. If you don't use any color on your focal point at all and keep it plain black and white, it's going to pop just fine on any busy background. My sentiment is just die cut from the just a number die set. And the flower is from the Adore You Add-on mini stamp set, so I only kept everything black and white. You can stick them down as they are and have a lovely card. You will find that the focal points and the sentiment are going to pop against the background. However, I'm going to show you how you can take it a step further. Since I do have a black outline for my sentiment, I'm mimicking the same look on the leaves and the flowers, so I'm just using a black alcohol marker to color outside the lines. You will find that when you stick them down they are going to pop even more against the background since they do have that black border and uh, at the same time the flower and the leaves has the same look and feel as the sentiment. I think it adds a lovely touch. To finish off the card I'm adding some dots here and there with my Nouveau Drops this card was super easy to create, it's very fast, so it is a great design to uh, mass produce. But at the same time it is so striking, the background really makes a difference. And of course on the inside I'm going to stick a panel where I can write my message. Not all cards have to be super complicated to be beautiful and striking. Sometimes the pattern paper can do the work for you. So let's move on to another example, again using a gorgeous pattern paper, which is quite busy. This time again I'm going to use the same principles and techniques, so all I'm going to do is to use a white focal point on top of that. In the previous card I did use a tie cut as a sentiment, which is a great way to go with busy backgrounds. In this case I'm just going to stamp my sentiment directly on top of the pattern paper, but I am using black, which I know is going to pop on top of that busy background. And this is a standalone sentiment on a mini stamp set, which is called Anywhere With You. Now again this card couldn't be any more easier, I'm just going to stick this bird which I die cut from white cardstock so you see it does pop out against that busy background and uh, if you want to add something extra on an otherwise very plain card you can use some strips of uh, cardstock, I just cut out two white ones here, again I use white because I know it's going to stand out and I'm just going to stick them down I'm using my Burly Art glue because it's super super fine and um, I know it's not going to make a mess. I'm also using my T ruler to make sure that I stick those nice and straight. And uh, all I'm creating is kind of a border to frame my bird somehow on one side of the card. By the way, this bird comes from a previous release by Alta New. I believe it's from the previous month, which uh, is a set that has this bird in three different sizes. I did use it in another card as well. I find it uh, really unique and I want to use it in one of my art journals actually. The set is called uh, Feathered Friends Die Set, but just like always you will find links to everything I use down below in the description area.
And I'm going to share one more example, this time on this side of the pattern paper. Again, very busy, but also stunning. I love the blues and the pinks. And instead of just using a very simple black and white focal point this time, I'm going to show you that you can pull it off if you use just one color for your focal point. For this card, I am going to use the suitcase, which is from the Enjoy Your Journey stamp set. It's from the previous release by Altenew. I stamped that, die cut it and did some quick coloring. I did try to find a pink color that matched the color of my background. And I didn't even color it all the way. You can see I kept some areas white. I white embossed my sentiment that says say yes to new adventures. And I did use white instead of just stamping with black because you can see the background is super dark and uh, black wouldn't work as it did on the previous card. Now again, I am repeating the same uh, look and feel as the previous card, but instead of using uh, thin strips of white cardstock, I'm just drawing lines with my T-ruler and my gel pen. So just another way, in this card, if you see on the close-up photos, you will realize that I kept everything imperfect, both in the lines that I draw, as well as on coloring. I just embraced imperfection in this one. Here are some close-up photos. You can see I finished it off by adding some enamel dots in the same color as the pink of the suitcase and the background. Another great category of pattern papers that you can use as a background are the ones that don't have color. Either they are grey or black and white. That means that you can use any color that you like on top of them. Any colorful focal point is going to pop beautifully against those background papers. And I'm creating a couple of uh, card bases here to show you a few examples. This one, which is in light grey, as well as this one, which is in black and white. For both these cards, I decided to go with flowers. These flowers and leaves are from the watercolor extravaganza stamp set. This is a new one from Alte New for the month of July. It is one of those layering stamp sets where you get many layers to stamp one on top of the other. It isn't very intricate, it is very forgiving and uh, it doesn't have any black line all around. These are the sets that I absolutely love when it comes to layering. The beautiful design on the inside is a bonus. You can add a white panel inside to write your message. And I absolutely love those uh, cards made out of the pattern paper since you end up having designs all around the card. I did add a few gems as well as a sentiment from the same stamp set. And let's move on to the last card for today. This time I went with just one flower from the Gardenia Duo stamp set, again from the latest release by Alte New. Again, this is one of those layering stamp sets, but uh, it gives you the black outline if you want to just stamp it and color it on your own. I did go with both the layers and the black outline, since I do have black at the background and I felt that it would um, complement my design. For my sentiment, I went with a simple hello that comes from the All About You word die set. It gives you both the outline as the actual word. And I finish it off by adding some enamel dots on top of the red flower. And these were the cards for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired to use up your 6x6 paper pads to create your very own mini slimline cards. Now this video is also part of a blog hop. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the info that you need to uh, hop along with us, where you will be able to win lots of prizes. Just like always, down below you will find a list of everything I use to create these cards. Don't forget to like this video, it really helps to leave me a comment. And also keep in mind that I'm actually on vacation, this is a scheduled post, so I might not answer to your questions, if any, super quickly, but I promise that I will. Thank you for joining in today and have a lovely day!